So here we are, about to take a look around a Corvette 32. Quite an imposing boat. This particular example is in lovely condition. Built in 1988, um, which had a recent refit. So the interior is uh, significantly, uh, has been significantly updated, yet kept in the style of the Corvette. You know, it's not uh, all been painted or anything like that. It still feels like an original boat, um, just been updated. We've got these lovely synthetic teak decks uh, recently fitted. Look at the width of these decks. If you want a boat that's easy to get around, it certainly uh, ticks that box. Um, so, what can we say about the Corvette? She has got a pair of uh, Volvo 30Bs, um, which are 65 horsepower, I think, um, on shaft. So, naturally aspirated, not turbocharged. Um, ideal for plodding on the river and then for some uh, forays offshore as well. What I like about the boat is it's just so easy to get round. It's a lovely composition. This seating up here is all new. The cushions are replaced. You've got this lovely sort of aft deck area. Perfect for the sunnier evenings. Sitting there with a glass or two. But whilst you're up on the flybridge, your visibility. go as far as to say it's fairly unrivalled. This is a very clean, tidy boat. I've got a manual anchor winch here on the bow. Exterior woodwork's all been uh, stripped and revarnished. It's obviously been compounded and polished recently as well. I'm not sure you can quite see the level of the shine on it, but it has been done. Spec isn't bad either. Um, we've got a down in the lower helm position a Raymarine chart plotter, an element chart plotter. Uh, Two uh, kilowatt inverter. Let's take a look inside. Uh, so we've got battery charger as well. Uh, Icon VHF down here at the lower helm. Uh, warm air heating. New dashboards. It's like new switches. The whole boat has been reupholstered. So the, the saloon seating just here. Both cabins. Uh, all the mattresses have been redone. We've got new this sort of wood effect flooring. Um, got new carpets in the cabins. A whole new galley, so galley worktop, hob, fridge, oven, sink, pop-up uh, plug sockets there as well. Uh, another nice one. I've got the Venetian-style blinds there as well. I'm sure you can see these new headlinings. Lighting all looks to be new as well. If you take a look at the woodwork, the woodwork's all original, but it has all been rubbed back, revarnished. Uh, you know, sometimes people, uh, there's an urge to paint over the wood, you know, lighten it up, make, uh, you know, but this hasn't been done like that. It's just been kept very much in keeping with the, the original boat. And they've done a very, very nice job. Just every bit of wood. Looks like it's had some sort of treatment on it. Um, and some sort of varnishing done. And yeah, it's been done very, very well. So the Corvette does give you two good cabins. Um, this particular example, uh, we've got the forward cabin, which we'll look at first. Uh, it's got a toilet en suite, no shower. Um, the shower is in the aft cabin, and we'll come to that in a moment. But let's take a quick look in the forward cabin. So as I say, two single berths down here. You can just see down there. Got cushions here on the starboard side as well. These cushions of the aft deck, um, uh, the lower aft deck, and the uh, up on the flybridge as well. They, new carpets again. Woodwork's all been redone. You also notice new wall linings as well. 
So the ensuite is just tucked in between the two berths. Quite a nice feature, you've got the escape hatch there. Makes it a very light, inviting space. Good bit of stowage. Um, so electric flush toilet, and we've got good headroom. So six foot plus headroom, all new uh, worktops. We've got the blinds, same uh, we had in the saloon. We've got the blinds in the cabins as well. Ooh, see how well they work, crikey. Very effective. So moving to the aft cabin. Again, new linings. Mattress is all recovered, new carpets. Again, woodwork looks lovely. It's quite a nice space, this aft cabin. I mean, she's only 32 feet, so it's not enormous, but it's certainly big enough. And I can walk all the way around the berth, no trouble at all. Got good storage everywhere, Hang, double hanging lockers, drawer storage, and some more lockers over the other, uh, on the port side there as well. And yet still they've squeezed a toilet and shower compartment in here. Again, like the uh, forward toilets had a uh, new worktop, new floor. All been lined out as well. That's all new. New shower, new electric flush toilet. And headroom again, a good six foot headroom in there. All very, very nice. Okay, quick summary. Um, this is the Corvette 32, built 1988. We've got a pair of 65 horsepower Volvo diesel engines on shaft. It's a Corvette, so it's a cracking sea boat, but thanks to the fact these engines are on the smaller size, if you're gonna do a bit of inland work as well, she's well suited to that. She's not overpowered. Um, she's naturally aspirated, so uh, no uh, issues with turbos. This particular example has been very well loved and uh, very, very nicely updated, sympathetically updated. Um, still feels like a, a classic Corvette, uh, yet all the work that's been done has been done the last couple of years and it does still feel fresh and uh, very modern. Boat safety on this one expires 2027. A uh, full list of everything that's been done to the boat can be found on the website, so just check out um, our used boat section and uh, click along for the Corvette. She's well worth a look. If you are looking at doing a bit more um, sleep, uh, sea work with some slower passages uh, and you've got a family of four, she must be a contender. Very, very comfortable boat. You know, your kids, are, kids or guests have got their own space. And then the saloon, well, the visibility is absolutely superb. It's light, it's bright, and it's been very nicely finished. Viewing is recommended. Um, if you want any more uh, details, please check out the website, www.nya.co.uk. Thanks for watching.